Well, usually when you clean, you clean from top to bottom. <gasps> Somebody broke a glass? Hello you guys, welcome to the first installment of my redecorating series. So if you don't know like who I am and my living situation and stuff, my name is Benji and I live with my boyfriend, Chris. We used to have two roommates uh, who lived with us in this apartment, but they recently moved out. So now it kind of feels like we're moving into a new apartment sort of because they took a lot of the furniture stuff with them and we want to kind of like start fresh and do our own thing with the apartment. So in this redecorating series, I'm going to take you along my journey in redecorating some spaces and how I'm thinking of designing them and stuff. But the first video, which is this one, we are gonna do a deep clean in the entire apartment. I'm super lucky that my parents and my two brothers are coming over to just help us clean the place. It's just always nice to have like more hands. So my family's on their way right now. They're about 10 minutes away and they're picking up food and then we will start cleaning. And then after we're done cleaning, I'm going to take you guys through the apartment and explain what I'm thinking of doing with each room. So like in the dining room, in the kitchen, in my bedroom, in Chris's new bedroom, in the living room, office room. Yeah, okay. It's a video camera. Christopher! Wait, this Chris's? You got pad tie. That one to pick it up? Where is that? It's in the office. Oh, this is a different one? Yeah, because that one was too big. Like well, Usually when you clean, you clean from top to bottom. Oh, okay. Okay? You wipe down the top first. What, what's the, the top though? Are we going to go in like, the cabinets? Mm -hmm. Take them all out. Ladder? We have a ladder? I have a step stool. If you're going to do it, you do it right. Yeah. Right? So then we take everything out and then we wipe inside and then we put everything back in and then we wipe all the bottles before we put them back. So with the, the cups come, your best bet is by tray. <laughs> <laughs> Look. All right, one down. Many more to go. Can you see my worms? Oh, worms. Cool. Oh, also, this thing is a leveler. Oh, okay. So when it's green, yeah. that means it's... Oh, okay, I got it. More ISO means it's trying to make the image brighter. Journalism. Here is Phantom here. Here you go. I think I'm just like in the mirror. Stuck in here. And Chris and I were like. <laughs> <laughs> the mirror? Where? The mirror. Hey, we push it in. Shut up the whole house. Okay. That's a button? Yeah, like, like, this for your air. <gasps> Somebody broke a glass? Put it in the trash can. You can get all the stuff in the bottom in one, one swipe. One swipe. Yep. Yeah. And then also you can get the soap out. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. Wow. Now you can go with a wet rag and wipe it off. <laughs> hey, buddy. My dad's an electrician, by the way. And so he's, he's fixing my outlet that's like super loose. Can I get you and a talkie? Some loose pasta and a single popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who's that handsome boy in there? <laughs> Chris, you and Theo look so cute. <laughs> they all. What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? Are you helping? Are you helping? They're all. I think they're all. Oh, wow. Clean, Clean stove. Chris, what's up with this? We need to wipe it again. See? Oh, I was doing good. <laughs> he said, is it done? I said, are you satisfied with your work? He said, yes. So we finished cleaning up the kitchen and then I had my dad put up some mirrors for me. I have this one that is by my staghorn ferns and then I have this other large one that is going to be hanging above my sofa. My brother Nicholas started working out recently and now his arms are like kind of big so I had him lift it for me. We did some final cleanings like vacuuming and then my dad anchored my bookshelves to the wall. We took a break, watched some TV, and then started working on the floor. We used a bucket and rags and got on our hands and knees and I now believe this is like the only way to properly clean a floor because there was so much more dirt than I expected and a Swiffer is just not cutting it. 
Then my dad gave me some new tools and taught me how to use them. Then my family got ready to leave. And of course, my mom had to say her goodbyes to Theo. Bye, Theo. I love you. Bye. Bye, Theo. I love you. <laughs> I give you a clean house. <laughs> Bye, mom. Bye-bye, mom. So it's been a couple days since my family came and we cleaned up the house. And just a few hours ago, my roommates came and got all of their stuff out of the room. I'm just gonna give you guys like a tour of the apartment. I'll give you guys a rundown of what I'm planning to do in each area. And Theo's gonna join us. <laughs> okay, when you walk in, there's the entryway over there. I'm not exactly sure what we're gonna do with this. Actually, this is the one area I haven't thought about that much. And then over here, all of this area, in a couple of weeks or a couple of months, it's going to be almost completely illuminated with sunlight. You can see over here, it's starting to creep in a little bit and it keeps coming in further and further every day. I'm planning to put down a tatami mat uh, right here so that way we can play with Theo and like sunbathe with him. And I think it'll be a really nice spot for us to be able to like sit on the floor. And then I'm also gonna put our bean bags right here as well. Originally, I was going to put a large mirror above the Ikea greenhouse cabinet, but I decided to put the mirror in the living room instead. So I'm not sure what I'm planning to do here now, maybe like a large uh, piece of art or something. This is the dining area. I put my computer out here and I have my office chair here. That way I can edit and do my like online work stuff in a nicer environment because I get this really nice view and I get light and there's a lot more room so it feels more open and like a place where I actually want to sit down and do work. This is like a pull out table so Chris is also able to sit there to eat and also bring his laptop and stuff. I've talked about this so much but this is where my platycerium are going to be. So I'm going to put all of my platycerium on this wall, or at least most of them, to create a platycerium gallery wall. And I was thinking about removing these shelves, but I actually really like them. Um, but I'll have to play with the platycerium to match the height of the shelves. This mirror, my dad put it up for me. I really like it here. It opens up the space a lot when you first walk in. It's not really very useful for like looking at yourself. I'm going to put this platycerium up higher that way there isn't so much obstruction of the mirror and then in the kitchen hmm i don't think that much is going to change in the kitchen i might start growing microgreens and i would grow them inside of my cabinet i'm also planning to put some type of shelf thing right here that way i can hang my plants while i'm watering for example like this plant i want to have a shelf here that i can put hooks on that way i can just water the plant and then hang it up and allow the water to drip from the pot. Um, it'll just make my life so much easier. And I also wanna hang my pots and pans up there too. Then let's go to the living room. You saw my dad put up this mirror and I think I'll have like a little table right here. I'll probably move this platycerium. I'm not exactly sure what I wanna put on this wall, but I have my brain gears turning. Either art or like a little shelf. I don't know. There's gonna be a coffee table here. I have this cool driftwood coffee table thing that I wanna use. And then Chris and I need to rearrange this entire bookshelf and bring our books out here because we have all of them in our bedroom right now. I'm gonna record the process of decorating the bookshelf. I just recently watched a video about how to decorate a bookshelf. So yeah, I'm gonna follow that like tutorial. In the bathroom, I don't think I'm really gonna change anything. The bathroom is gonna pretty much stay the same. And then in the office, this is where things are probably gonna change a lot. Um, right now it's a huge mess, so. But I'm planning to have it be like a dedicated packaging area for my online shop, and then also a dedicated place to grow my plants, my propagations that I use to sell on my website. And then I'm going to do a lot more maintenance on these aquariums and hopefully finally get that aquarium video out to you guys. It's been difficult to film aquarium stuff because this office was a shared space where my roommate was studying for the bar. So like I wanted to make sure that he had a space to study. So I'm going to have more shelves like these that I'm going to put up to line this wall. Yeah, I'm excited to just have a space to do all my messy stuff like packaging and 
repotting plants maybe, or just having like a crazy propagation and grow out area. Kind of like a grow tent, but it's a grow room. Here is my bedroom. It used to be our bedroom, so I used to share it with Chris, um, but he's gonna take over the other room. I'm not planning to do too, too much different with this place. I'm going to remove my platycerium from this wall. And I never really liked them that much, honestly, here. Like, I think they look good, but they don't look amazing. Here, you wanna go outside, Theo? <laughs> so maybe I'll put like art here on this wall instead of these platycerium. All of these are like our rugs and stuff that we're gonna use around the apartment that we just haven't put down yet um, because we were like cleaning the floor and stuff. Yeah, I'm thinking of like pushing the bed in further on this side now that Chris doesn't need access or a walk path because uh, it's just gonna be me. And then I might put a desk here. I also got this uh, new curtain. I'll put in clips where you can see it better. Now we're going into Chris's new room. Echo, echo, echo. So this is where our old roommates used to be. This is the primary bedroom. So there's a bathroom in here and that's like Chris's dream to have a bathroom inside of his bedroom. There's also a ton of closet space. There's two big closets that connect to each other. Now we're gonna have so much more space for our clothes. We don't even have that much clothes, but two people's wardrobe in our small closet has been pretty difficult. And then here's the bathroom. Is there a light in here? Oh, yeah. So here's the bathroom. Yeah, and there's a shower. I'm like trying to think of like, what do I say? <laughs> there's a shower, there's a toilet. Oh yeah, there's a window you can like twist open like this. The great outdoors. Something I'm pretty excited about is the balcony. Now we have more space on the balcony. It extends across from this bedroom to my bedroom. Look at all this space. Um, so I'm gonna redo this area and Chris, thankfully, he let me kind of have uh, creative freedom with the balcony area because he's probably not gonna use it too much, but I'm gonna make it so he has like a nice place to sit. Okay, let's go back and see. Look at Theo, now Theo has a new spot. <laughs> so that's like the quick tour of the apartment and I'm so excited to continue on with the series. Um, I'm not sure how many videos it's gonna be, but I'm pretty much gonna record myself redecorating the whole place. Right now we are gonna, right now we're gonna clean. So right now Chris and I are gonna go set up his desk and his computer. We're just so excited to finally have like a place to call our own because we've been living in like dorms and then apartments with roommates, um, all of our like adult life past 18. And then before that we were living with our families. So. This is pretty cool. It finally feels like we really have our own place. And now I have a lot of freedom to kind of do whatever I want. Also the landlord lets me paint and put holes in the wall. So I'm very excited. <laughs> okay, see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.